Hello there, and welcome to Star Wars Force Collection. My name is Jobby Paws, and this is episode 12 in my Let's Play series for Star Wars Force Collection. So let's get started here. We got the uh, new update uh, today, which will actually be yesterday for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's see here. Um, there we go. Loaded. See if we got any new awakening cards. That was an interesting little debug text. If if you guys caught that, um, so that's a bug. <laughs> So yeah, so Wrath of the Raptors ended. Let's uh, let's see what rank I got. I actually didn't get to go as hard as I wanted to. See, I got 900 takedowns. Um, yeah, I, I started getting stuff at work. We've been pretty slow lately. And it was like, oh, I'm gonna go really hard at the event, and then we started getting stuff. So I couldn't play as much at work as I wanted to. So my Obviously, my ranking suffered from that. So, yeah, now we got the uh, Tatooine Bounty Hunt. That is the current event. So, let's, uh, let's see here. New phases have begun. Did I go up or down? Or Nope, still in silver. So, nothing too, uh, nothing too extreme there. Let's see. Got to go to the inbox. So I got two raid platinum packs, so I actually have to pull those. I got a raid gold pack. I got I got some stuff. So let's uh let's open those real quick. Let's go here. So two raid platinum packs. Let's see if we get anything good. It's not new. It's R2D2. So he's a decent co-pilot, which is alright. Uh, why didn't it pull the other one? Oh, I only have, uh, I don't, I don't have any room in my binder. So, let me store some cards. Yeah, I'm still trying to work on completing my, my binder. So, I'm keeping all of the three and the four star cards. Alright, so that made a little bit of room. Let's go back to card pack. I was kind of confused there. I was like, oh, it said two. So here we go. Let's see what uh, what we get here. And nothing new. And Yandodana, who's a, has a pretty good skill. All attack up is very versatile, very useful um, for attacking formations. So yeah, and then let's check out our uh, little gold pack. Nothing. So... C-3PO, I think that's the uh, that's the new one, right? Yeah, Trusted Companion. So, Resistance. Yeah, and then I got all my regular packs. All sorts of good stuff. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll just play the uh, Tatooine Bounty Hunt. Let's uh, check that out. So, yeah, let's do the event details. I'll kind of, I guess, give you guys a little rundown. Basically, you play the regular quest, you'll pick up uh, Jabba bounties that uh, you can complete. Um, so they come in the triple, the double, and the single variety. Uh, you have to run around the map quest to try and find your bounties. Um, you can pick up item containers that are on the map, and then I think you also get one for defeating the bounty. So, you keep going... You can find your allies, and they'll uh, either help you in battle, or they will um, uh, show you, like, the, the map area. So it's just like regular map quests. You can defeat Rancors for containers, uh, where you're, like, if you get a container, it's going to be a silver. It's still, like, a 50-50 on if you'll get one, but if you do, you'll get the silver container. Um, yeah, and then... Uh, Cooperate with your legion mates, so if they're online, you get a, like a higher chance to run into bounties. And then uh, the gold containers can contain five stars, I guess, apparently. So, and then you can also pick up these special bounty requests, 
which are guaranteed. You're guaranteed like three silver containers. Um, so here's the here's the rewards. Get a couple couple gold packs at twenty and thirty two. You get a a Java platinum pack at fifty. Um, some normal gold packs. Another Jabba gold pack at 135, and then, uh, wow, two, two platinums at 180 and 250. So that's a guaranteed, like, three or four, four star cards. I guess three. There's no, there's no, like, regular platinum packs, I don't think. But that's still pretty cool. And then you get, a uh, special bounty requests. There's, what, three of those on here? So you can get some silver containers. And then, uh, yeah, you can get a bunch of training remotes. So, depending on how many you get in a day. And you can hit max rewards. If, if you do the daily, you can hit max rewards in two and a half days, basically. So, then, uh, I wonder if... Then, I guess, at that point, it's just hunting containers. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we already did the event details, go to the, the top, so I'll just, uh, I'll do the regular quest, so since I'm on Mustafar and the regular quest, I'll be on Mustafar, you can actually go to other planets, I've tried that before, I was like, well, this one, you know, it costs 6 EP every time you, you know, every time you use it, so maybe, oh, look, a triple, that's pretty cool, so the triples have, like, a higher chance to get a gold container because it's it's like you're building up you have to do three in a row um so yeah that's that's pretty cool and we'll use it now so i got to uh i got to defeat uh yoda saber awakened and then an old ray and then a old maul so that's going to be their leader cards and then you know their normal formation will be um after that and it looks like this isn't the uh it's not the ranking version of this event so, before, you would have to have, like, uh, you know, certain, ooh, Chewy HR, let's see here, give me information on the map, I want to know where the, the containers are, because they can, they can surprise you at times, so I like finding all the containers, because you can actually find gold containers, but, uh, I totally kind of forget what I was saying. So, here, we'll do, uh, I'll, I'll actually battle him so you can actually see it. So, we're gonna do regular attack. Yeah, at the, at the top, it'll say the battle strength. Right, so actually, that's kind of high. For what I'm comfortable, because, yeah, my, my formation has a very high battle strength. And that's because the Boba the Relent uh, Relentless Hunters, they attack three times per turn. They attack three units three times per turn, right? So even though they have a really low attack and they actually don't do, all they basically do is damage reduction, it basically counts as nine attacks in a turn. So, you know, if you do nine times whatever the, the attack value is, it's like 3,000 something. Um, it's like that, that's a lot higher than like a normal, you know, any other card's attack, but it doesn't actually do that damage. You know, it's just doing damage reduction. Because no, especially at, you know, my stage, no five-star cards that I'm going to face have that low of a defense. So, let's do, uh, I'm just going to do regular attack. Hopefully, they only have one Awakened Yoda Saber. If they have a whole front row of them, I'm kind of screwed. So, it looks like one. And then, uh, they got Tide Phantom and then a Baron Starfighter, which is kind of weird. I always think it's weird, uh, like, for the events, I feel like a lot of people have random vehicles, so I don't know if, I don't know if these are made up accounts or something like that that Konami makes, I have no idea. So, let's, uh, let's try and find old Ray. Ooh, we get to run into an ally right away. Give me information. I like doing the information ones because then you can actually see the map. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to pass the containers anyway because typically it's going to be like one of the farthest, um, I guess, enemies. So 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and grab the containers. That's something I like doing. We're looking for old Ray. That's Han, so we gotta defeat old Han. Uh we'll skip it. Cool, you win. And we'll go down and defeat old Ray. Oh, I skipped it. There you go, you win. So now we're up to six bronze um, containers. So hopefully we can get another one of, you know, a little higher rarity. That might be nice. Ooh, I'm going to go back and get this guy. Give the information. Um, all right. All the way down. Oh, I think I just passed the... Uh, yeah, Darth Maul. Uh, only for a bronze container. That kind of sucks. All right. And then I skipped this one too on accident. Hey, we won and we got a silver. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we get. So basically, AP and credits. So that's. Uh, let's see here. What else can you get in the containers? Any holocrons? That would be nice. Let's see rewards list. Container items. So, no holocrons, it doesn't look like. So that kind of sucks. But, I mean, you can get, you can get, uh, five star and four star cards. You can get packs. You can get whoopee whoopee coins. So it's pretty decent. I, I think, I like this event. It's kind of, especially when they don't do the rankings. So, like, for this, I'm probably going to get max rewards over, I think, what, it goes till the 22nd? So over the, yeah, over over the six or seven days, I should be able to get the max rewards. So that's pretty cool. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the Bounty Hunter event. So I'm going to go back to Quest and just gather as many bounties as I can real quick. So there you go. There's another one. That's another triple. So we're going to continue and just gather them. So that's what I kind of like to do. I like to use all my energy and get as many bounties as possible. And then I'll wait the, basically, you know, I have 150 EP, so that's two and a half hours. I wait the two and a half hours, and then I'll do all of the bounties that I get. Um, and then, yeah, and then I'll kind of, I guess, use whatever EP I have left to get more bounties, and then I'll wait again and do that. I'll, you know, it's just a continuing process. And actually, I think you get like a 10 EP boost every time you enter a map. So sometimes you can actually you can actually gain EP, I think, if like you complete the maps really quickly. Um, you can actually gain a little bit of EP. But you know, I, I, I like getting all the containers because there's been so many times where like I've just been like, oh I'll walk the extra five steps and then it's a gold container and then, you know, I get a four star card or something cool. Um, I don't necessarily remember any any big five star pools that I've I've had on this event, but yeah, that's uh, that's all of my bounties, and then I have all sorts of messages coming in. Apparently, I don't know who's messaging me. Let's see here. Millennium, uh, Dusty Banana, Manual. Oh, so, uh, yeah, in the, the competition, I gave out 10 Platinum Packs. So, Sith Yager Bummer, he just, uh, you know, messaged me saying, I can email the vids, no luck, only four stars. But some were good four stars, so that's all right. Um, yep, the event is back. Hello, I'm interested. You're two times Boba. Interested in anything on my wish list. And also love the channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, bark. And then, uh, Dusty Banana. No, I, I don't have any need for Akbar IAT. I'm only really looking for high tier cards. I'm looking for Ventress for, you know, my form. I'm looking for, um, Finn, five star Finn for my girlfriend's form. And then I need four more for, uh, to awaken him for her. And then, uh, I'm looking for the new Cad Bane. I'm looking for that for my friend who actually, uh, well, 
he's he's a lead you made he's a good buddy i've i've been friends with him in game since Ooh, i want to say like i was only playing the game for like a month at the time that we started talking and started trading and he's a great guy now he's you know he's the one that recruited me in the legion and he's a really cool guy uh so i do i do trades for him you know sometimes he gets really busy and he doesn't have time to kind of trade around so i try and help him out so if you guys have anybody has a, a new cad uh bane five star for trade i think it's what is it like steel killer um yeah, let me know, and uh, I'll try and, you know, make a deal with you. So, and Millennium, any three-star clones? I can look. I don't know if I have any on hand, so I will uh, I will send you a message a little later. So, and NHL, watch live, celebrating the life of Gordie Howe. Yeah, that was, uh, that was really devastating, um, the passing of Gordie Howe. I'm a huge hockey fan, and Gordie Howe, he's Mr. Hockey, so that's, you know... It's, unfortunately, I never got to meet the guy. Um, all I've heard are wonderful things about him. And, you know, my my heart and prayers go out to his family. But, yeah, he was, uh, he was a hell of a hockey player. He retired twice and came back. Uh, the first time he came back to play with his sons. And he actually, like, had more points than he ever did previously. So you know, in a season. So that was pretty amazing. And then he came back and he played a, a season with the Hartford Whalers. I think they were having, uh, you know, issues kind of like when Michael Jordan came back and played with the Wizards, kind of the same, you know, they, they were, they were having attendance issues. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the event. Little hockey history for you guys. Thank you, uh, NHL for popping in there. Um, let's see here. What is my Wrath of the Raftars? Oh, yeah, I already did this. Um, let's see here. Did any new four stars or five stars or anything get awakened? Let's see here. Um, find the bounty target. So typically, like, it'll say in, like, the event thing. Yeah, more cards can now be awakened. So, Luke X-Wing Pilot. That's good. I wonder if he'll have higher stats than Wedge now. That would be kind of interesting, like at a 1631, that would be interesting. So now uh, Clone Commander Bakra, light and dark, so that's another uh, clone for uh, Juggernaut forms and stuff like that. Uh, Shadow Trooper, which is actually kind of nice, so that's 4 star Shadow Trooper. The 5 star, um, you know, when it came out it was already awakenable, um, but the 4 star Empire doesn't really have a whole lot of like strong mediums. So, well, they don't, actually, just in general. So when, like, uh, the five-star Shadow Trooper came out, it's like, oh, great, oh, but it's a long, and it's a sniper, which then means, you know, a lot of people are going to be looking for it. It doesn't, you know, I was kind of hoping that if it was just a medium, that it would fall down, and, you know, I might be able to get a couple for my alt. I have an Empire alt. Um... But now that you can awaken the Shadow Trooper, maybe I'll awaken, I have a couple, I, ha I think I have like four or six, four sevens on my alt, so maybe I'll awaken a couple of them. And uh, they have pretty high attacks, so they'll have, they'll have a decent attack, I think. Uh, Vulture, Droid, Starfighters, um, those were the first longs in the game, I think, other than like vehicles, that was the first card, because it was a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a card, but it's still a vehicle, technically. Um... But you can put it in your formation as like a you know as a as a one card thing, uh, so that was that's pretty interesting. They only attack the front row though, and then Wicket, there you go, and Boss Nass. So Boss Nass will help Gungan forms, I guess, because uh, what does he attack up? Gungan attack up, so that'll help out that. And then Wicket Warwick, uh, or Warwick, um. Yeah, he'll help Ewok forms. I actually have an Ewok form. Um, I have the training ID somewhere, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll post it and you guys can see it. And you can go to my training ID for that uh, alternate account where I have just Ewoks. It's pretty funny. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Those are the Awakenable cards. Uh, speaking of Awakenable cards, I actually have one to Awaken and put in my formation. So, let's see here, da, da, da. so, like, speaking of cards, he gave me, uh, my, my buddy Solon, he gave me all these cards to, 
you know, trade around and see what I can do with them. But here we go. So I got, uh, I finally got a second 4-7 Asajj Ventress. So, um, yeah, and then I have my 6-11 that I'm not really 100% sure what I'm going to do with. I, I would like to trade it for like a 4-7 and a base. Um, you know, maybe to somebody who's looking to make the 815 and then make it perfect. But, I don't know, it's really hard to find people that are like that. I mean, Asajj Ventures is a pretty high tier card. So, yeah, to, you know, fully 1631 her, it's, it's pretty expensive. So, yeah, I got a, oh, I actually have an extra Holocron. I didn't know that. Cool. So, yeah, we're going to Awaken her, and that'll get, uh, so now I'm going to have an Awakened 815, boom, Massage Ventress, yeah, so I'm going to replace my Django Toes with Massage Ventress, and then I'm probably going to keep my Django's, um, because, you know, they could be Awakened in the future. So, they actually do have higher defense than her, um, like, as a 4-7. They would have higher defense. So, they might be slightly better. I have no idea, right? Uh, everybody says that she's ridiculous against vehicle forms and stuff like that. But, it's, uh, you know, oh. What got taken out of my formation? Oh, this is formation one. Never mind. Got to go to my main formation. Here we go. And uh, swap out one Django for her. So I think I'm going to do the left one. Typically, I see vehicles on the left-hand side. So let's see here. Put her in there. Now she's awakened. Sweet. So going to save that. All right, so there's my new, uh, there's my new formation. Now I'm working on, you know, doing the, uh, replacing the other Django toe, and then the Relentless Hunter. I, I'm basically keeping for I have, uh, four additional 815s so that I can awaken them whenever they become awakenable. That'll be in like six months, but it'll probably happen eventually. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have all those awakened. That'll be really cool. That'll be a really high defense front uh kind of like it's not going to be as high as eod or i think dooku has a little bit more defense but the the high defense with the damage reduction i think will really help so yeah that seems like uh seems like that's about it um i haven't really thought up of another competition to do um so, yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll think of something, hopefully, for the next episode. So next week, maybe I'll come out with another competition. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's basically about it. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Um... Check out uh, Star Wars Force Collection Gazette.com. So in the bottom right hand corner, as you've seen for the whole video, you can go to that website. You can see all of my tutorial videos. You can see my Let's Plays. You can see um, all sorts of really good Star Wars Force Collection stuff. There's AU's uh, blog that he does weekly. Um, or at least he does the line chats weekly. I don't know if he puts out a blog every week. But uh, he does some really in-depth stuff into the game. There's uh, all sorts of good stuff. There's, you know, value charts, all sorts of stuff that you can check out. So, yeah, I recommend that. And then uh, if you would like to donate to my channel up in the upper right-hand corner, you can visit my Patreon page um, and you can donate there. If you donate a dollar a month, um, you know, and you, you, uh, you subscribe, I guess, for a dollar a month, you can become a producer and I'll add your name into the credits. I can add, uh, you know, your favorite Star Wars quote or if, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want, I'll add it in there and I'll make credits. And yeah, it'd be, it'd be really appreciated. I can, you know, save up 
from your guys' donations and buy new games to do Let's Plays with. Um, buy a microphone so that my audio will sound a little bit better and it will be a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.